In this demonstration, we will be covering the replacement parts for the Model J1 flow control valves. The replacement parts, as well as the kits and the procedures, will remain consistent for this model of flow control valves from sizes 1.5 inch through 8 inch. The Model J1 flow control valves are used on a few different types of systems that we offer. The flow control system, fire cycle systems, and pressure regulation systems. When performing maintenance on the Model J flow control valves, refer to the specific data sheet for the system that you are working on in regards to placing the system out of service. Once the system is removed from service, you will need to remove the associated trim from the cover of the valve to gain access to the cover. The part numbers for the replacement parts and the kits that we offer for the Model J flow control valves can either be found in the replacement parts book or on our technical data sheets. The replacement parts that we offer for the Model J flow control valves are the seat replacement kit, the clapper assembly kit, and the spring. Each of the components of the clapper assembly kit are available individually as well. To remove the cover from the valve, remove each of the bolts. Due to the spring tension on the clapper of the flow control valve, it is easiest if you leave one of the top bolts and one of the bottom bolts tight and remove each of the rest of the screws on the cover of the valve before loosening these screws. With each of the screws removed, you can remove the cover plate as well as the spring from inside of the valve. The spring is available as an individual replacement part. When installing the new spring, it can be a little bit difficult to line up the spring onto the clapper and replace the cover plate at the same time. A way to make this easier is to take the cover plate Take a screwdriver, place the screwdriver through the center hole of the cover plate, and place the spring onto the cover plate. This will help you to line up the spring onto the clapper and replace the cover plate at the same time. Once each of the bolts are hand tight on the valve, it will make it a little bit easier if you tighten down a top and a bottom bolt. Once the cover is removed, you can see three of the four components that make up the clapper assembly kit. The upper diaphragm, the clamp ring, and the clapper. Along with the rubber seat assembly, which is on the bottom of the clapper assembly, these four components make up the clapper assembly kit that we offer for replacement. To remove the clapper assembly, you will need to gently place a flathead screwdriver in between the body of the valve and the upper diaphragm. With the clapper assembly now removed, you can see the fourth component that makes up the clapper assembly kit, the rubber seat assembly. When you order a new clapper assembly kit, it comes to you already pre-assembled. So in order to remove the old clapper and replace the new one, it's as easy as pulling out the old clapper assembly and replacing it with the new. Each of the components of the clapper assembly kit are offered individually as well, as it is not always the case where you would need to reemplace the entire clapper assembly kit. The clamp ring, the upper diaphragm, the rubber seat assembly, and the clapper. The first component that we will cover replacing is the clamp ring. To remove the existing clamp ring, remove each of the screws. When installing the new clamp ring, you will notice that there is a groove seat on the clamp ring. 
On the upper diaphragm, this groove seat needs to fit into the groove seat of the upper diaphragm. Please note that this is only the case on the three inch flow control valves. All other sizes, the upper diaphragm, the notch seat will fit into the groove seat of the clapper. Line up the holes and replace the screws. To replace the upper diaphragm, remove the existing clamp ring. Remove the existing diaphragm. To install the new upper diaphragm, you will see that there is a raised edge on the diaphragm. This raised edge fits into the groove seat of the clamp ring for the three inch valves only. All other sizes, the raised edge of the upper diaphragm would be pointed facing down into the groove seat of the clapper. Install the new upper diaphragm and reinstall the clamp ring. Line up the holes and replace the screws. To replace the rubber seat assembly, turn the clapper assembly over and remove each of the screws. When installing the new rubber seat assembly, you will see that there is a raised edge on the center of the rubber seat. This raised edge needs to be placed facing down into the groove seat of the clapper. Line up the holes and install the new screws. To replace the clapper assembly, you will need to remove the clamp ring, the upper diaphragm, and the rubber seat assembly from the existing clapper. With the existing clamp ring, upper diaphragm, and rubber seat assembly now removed, you will need to install them onto the new clapper. The four components that make up the seat replacement kit are the seat, the O-ring, the lubricant for the O-ring, and the new screws needed to install the seat. To remove the seat, remove each of the screws. Once all of the screws are removed, the seat can now be removed from the body of the valve. As you will notice, the O-ring is installed into the groove of the seat. To install the new seat, you need to apply the lubricant to the groove of the seat. Once the lubricant is applied, you can now install the O-ring into the groove. With the O-ring now installed, you can install the new seat by lining up the holes and installing the new screws. This concludes the replacement parts for the Model J flow control valves.